happy Friday, everyone. Um, I just need to tell you that I totally forgot to do my, or not forgot to do my video. I'm doing it right now, but I forgot that I had to do my video today. So, yeah, not like any later than usual. I should actually try doing my video while it's still light out sometime. It's been a while since that's happened. Um, anyways. First off, I just want to say that um, our audition period is coming to a close. So on Monday, I believe, is the last day you, sh you, sh you can get your stuff in. So if you want to audition for Nameless Nerds, do it. Because this is like your last chance unless somebody else leaves sometime. But I don't know if that'll happen. So really, you need to get your stuff in because we want to see you. Other than that, um, I would like to talk about my birthday, which was last week. Um, I had a little, kind of like two celebrations. Um, one was on my birthday, and then the one was the day after. We went, me and a bunch of people, including Riley and Allie and Sonia. No, Sonia, you weren't there, Sonia. You should have been there. Why did I say you? You weren't there. Anyways, um, and a few other people. We went to one of my favorite restaurants, and I believe I've talked about it before, Memphis Blue, Southern Barbecue House. Mm, mm, mm. So delicious. So yeah, we went there. Then we went to the Indigo and got a bunch of more books from like, like I got so many books. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, la last, last week and the week before last weekend. Anyways, um, the Sunday before my birthday, we went to Chapters at... What's it called? Metro Town. And I got two Kelly Armstrong books. I got The Gathering, which they actually charged me twice for. I was not impressed. So I had to go back there so they could give me my money back. Ugh. It was ridiculous. Anyways, I got The Gathering and Tales of the Other World, which is like a side stories to the Other World series, the main Other World series. And I got those. And then all I need is Waking the Witch in, so in soft cover, and I need to read it too. And then I'll have all of the other world series. Like, I'll own them, and it'll be fantastic. So yeah, um, the, the Gathering is actually, it takes place on Vancouver Island, which is so cool. It takes place in like this super small, not even a town, like a hamlet type thing. I think that's how they describe it in here anyways. Like an hour outside of Nanaimo, and it, it's just so fantastic because it's, I've never read a book that's take, taken place, um, I don't know if the whole thing takes place so close to where I am and where I've been before, but yeah. Um, I also got City of Fallen Angels, which is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series, which is really funny because it was only supposed to be three books and I have the box set over in my bookshelf. Um, anyways, I have all four of these books on the back as well. I have the entire Mortal Instruments plus um, Infernal Devices book one, which is the prequel, Clockwork Angel. Mm -hmm. And then I have, if you remember, I also talked about, well, not really talked, I mentioned um, Black Cat, well, not Black Cat, <laughs> as an anime, uh, White Cat by Holly Black. Let's see this book right here. Well, I got the sequel, White, or Red Glove. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Um, which is really exciting because I'm really looking forward to reading this. And actually, both of these authors were actually at Metro Town on Monday, but I wasn't actually able to go because I worked the next day and it was at 7 and just stuff and bleh. Um, anyways, um, my friend Christina also bought me this book, Eon, and check this out! Quote by Tamora Pierce! I loved it! Can't wait for the sequel! That's pretty much what sold me on what I need that I needed to read this. Um, it sounds very much like like Alana, her her series Alana. If you haven't read anything by Tamora Pierce, you fail and you need to go read all of her books. And then yeah. So and then from my parents I got um, a mystery novel, which I have never read. I don't read i I've never read mystery anything. Well, I read a Dean Koontz book once. It freaked me out. It made me scared of monkeys for a while. It was it was really weird. Anyway, 
So I'm really looking forward to reading this just to see like how different it is from the usual stuff that I read. And then I also got Jodi Pico. I've been wanting to read this book since it came out in hardcover, like when it first came out. Um, I love her stuff. She's such a fantastic author. My favorite book by her so far is Handle With Care, which I don't have. I don't think I... I don't have it here at my apartment right now. I think somebody's borrowing it. I just don't remember who, which isn't good. Oh, hey, look, Pandora Heart, volume three, and a super, super cute bookmark. Thanks, Amber, for these and this, and Kuroshitsuji, which is somewhere else. I don't know where, but it's somewhere else. Anyways. Oh, and then check this out. Got that from Michelle. If that was in focus, I have no idea. I can't see. Um, yeah, look at that. So cool. That, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it somewhere special though. Anyways, yeah. I had a really good birthday. Very, very good birthday. So perhaps next week, um, I will be doing my, uh, I'll do my video when it's still light out or something, because that would be really cool. Um, anyways, I guess that's it for me. I'm sorry if this is long. I have no idea. I ramble and I lose track of time. So this could be like 50, no, okay. that's really pushing it. It could be like close to eight minutes and I would have no idea because I just talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'm doing it again, doing it again. And I, never mind. Anyways, um, I hope everybody has a super happy Easter and doesn't, die from all the chocolate that they will probably be eating and turkey oh turkey i love turkey i'm really looking forward to this weekend it's gonna be good